Well, I've always thought black was beautiful, and it's good to know that uh, poinsettias do too, and we'll be telling you what the, the uh, black plastic is for here in a minute, but I'm out here with Paul at the growing facilities for owls, and it's poinsettia season. It and is. I was, you know, let's talk a little bit about how this whole process starts for y'all. Well, we get the uh, cuttings in in midsummer. Uh, all the poinsettias are grown from cuttings and they're shipped to us, and then we root them and start growing them. And they, they really come in small. This one you said is about how old now? That's about six weeks. And when they come in, they're even smaller than this, though. Yeah, it'd be about two inches, an inch and a half shorter than that. Now, it's not, it's not just a simple process. I mean, there are some specific things you need, but the, the black plastic really is about the, the Brax coloring up. Well, the black plastic is to time the crop, and uh, they normally trigger around the 1st of October when the day lengths um, are short enough to set the poinsettia into uh, its bloom cycle. So for the early crop, we uh, shorten the days with the black plastic. And really, it is a process of covering all of these with black plastic to, to right. block all the, the out. Anything that we want in uh, early November, we... So those beautiful poinsettias we see in stores really don't... I mean, they take some, some work and effort to get that beautiful. Yes. And, and speaking of beautiful poinsettias, we have some here that we picked out. Let's go over them starting at the back here, Paul, and just give us a little input on them. Uh, this is a fun one. It's called Jester Dark Red, and it, its bracts are up like a jester's hat. And um, it's dark leaf, dark red. Beautiful, but beautiful. But a plant. different form. And I love this one. Yeah, this is one that we like to have early. It's uh, Cortez Electric Red, a nice uh, orange red. Because, you know, because they are, you know, a short seasonal plant, we don't have to only use them at Christmas, and that's a great one for the no. Thanksgiving yeah. holidays. And this has been popular. It's a Jingle Bells type, um, white glitter. It'll be red uh, with splotches of white mm -hmm. on it. Nice dark foliage. And another one uh, for the sports fans here. <laughs> <laughs> this one was new last year um, in its orange spice, and it's one that we just do early. It's really an orange. And this, this pretty red one coming on here. This pretty red one, that it's an... Um, Al's exclusive this year, and it's called Ann's Christmas Star. Mm, it's really beautiful. Now, you know, your uh, Festivals of Lights will be coming up here soon. Right. And, of course, anybody can get these there. But, you know, say if I come there, I pick up a poinsettia, can you give us a, a quick synopsis on the best way to care for them at home? Well, usually if, um, if you're having trouble with a poinsettia, it is about three possibilities. Mm -hmm. um, one is overwatering, and they don't like to sit in the pot cover and be watered. Which we've all been guilty of doing, <laughs> I'll admit it. The little sleeve that sits there will uh, collect the water and then it keeps the soil too wet and it rots the roots so off good, and they die. Good drainage is essential. And then uh, you do need, they, they're a living plant so they need light. Mm -hmm. And the more light that you can give them, knowing that this is a greenhouse they're coming from, yeah. to to go in then to, uh, say, a, a bathroom without any windows is not going to do okay. it. So it, you need to kind of have it near a window. And um, they like about 65 degrees. So if it's a thermostat that shuts off during the day or... They're going to get too cold. It gets too cold. So the, there you go. That, that does seem pretty easy. Uh, if you want more information, we can invite you to go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to the Owls website. Don't forget their Festival of Lights is coming up. You can buy these beauties and take them home with you and enjoy them all through the season. Paul, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir.